Mm. I'm gonna do something to shock the hell out of Paul. I'm gonna add some salt. What? I know. Maybe it's nice that they aren't salted. That's pepper though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should have just let you put I mean, it on there, huh? I like pepper too, but let's let's add a little salt. We're still in central Oregon. We're actually in a small town called Madras. Now Madras isn't far from where we're staying, which is out by uh, Cove Palisade, beautiful canyon. It's a wonderful drive, lots of farmland, the lakes, the sunshine. Um, but we were in the mood for some small town dining. And so we're gonna check out a diner, the Black Bear Diner. Now this is a chain, uh, but we're excited to eat at this location. It's adorable. Come in with me and let's check it out. Walking into this restaurant, it's charmingly rustic, very intentionally rustic, because that's the theme. The whole Black Bear theme is everywhere, and it's done well. The menu is fun. It's like reading an old-fashioned newspaper, and it's enormous. Plus, they serve breakfast all day, and with all the combinations of food you can put together, Everybody in your group is gonna find something that they like to eat. Food's here. I wanted something that I thought would be as, you know, small town American as I possibly could. That's exactly what I got. I got country fried steak with country gravy. And there's also, this is red mashed potatoes. I don't know, I don't see any skin on it, but that's what they're telling me. Spread. You see it in there? Yeah. Okay. Red mashed potatoes. And this is Italian green beans with bacon. So let's just start with that right there. <laughs> I feel like Amy. That was so hot. Um, beans are overcooked. Bacon tastes okay. It's all right. It's all right. We'll try the uh, mashed potatoes. Those are good. A lot of butter in those, but not like Louisiana butter. It's good. They're good and they're nothing special. Um, now look at the size of this thing right here. Here's my hand for reference. So it's pretty good sized. It's crispy. Let's go ahead and open that up. There it is. All right, let's give it a shot. A little big bite. Mm. It's exactly the way you would expect or hope that chicken fried steak would taste like. They also offer chicken fried chicken. I think I was kind of hankering for the chicken fried steak. Amy's usually like, don't eat the chicken fried steak. It'll hurt your stomach. It might, but it's well worth it. Mm. I often like to order off the seasonal menu and right now they have like a selection of cheesy sandwiches of different types. Some of them breakfast, some of them more traditional like dinner style or lunch style. I went with something called the Parisian because I'm, you know, so sophisticated. But what attracted me to this was the fact that the sandwich is actually made out of pieces of French toast. It's got two different kinds of cheese, sausage patties, also came with a side of hash browns. I'll dig into those in a minute, but let me first try this sandwich. Mm. I chose to go with a spicy patty. I don't like the sausage patty. It tastes super processed to me. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but the cheese is good. The French toast is, um, is nice. It actually came with a side of syrup. Am I gonna actually try my next bite? Ooh, look at that skin on top. So, he brought this to us warm. <coughs> okay. If you're ever wondering whether or not you should like something, and you want to give it a second try, just douse it in maple syrup. I guarantee you, you'll like the second bite a lot better. <laughs> now I'm gonna try these hash browns. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, do you put ketchup on your hash browns? Sometimes I do, but I'm gonna try them. This is, I'm gonna try them without. This is the in most interesting texture. Those hash browns are like flat ribbons. I don't think I've ever had any like that. Mm. I'm gonna do something to shock the hell out of Paul. I'm gonna add some salt. What? I know. Maybe it's nice that they aren't salted. That's pepper, though. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should have just let you put I'm it gonna, on there, huh? I like pepper too, but let's let's add a little salt. Better. Maybe ketchup too. Amy says that I'm supposed to dip this. Uh, in the syrup to make it better. So we'll do like French dip style. I don't want to drip it on my food though. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. I would say it's like um, like something you get at the Waffle House. But that's spicy. It is kind of spicy. I got it in the back of my mouth there. Yeah, that's got a little bit of a kick to it and a lot of cheese. Super, super buttery bread. Oh my goodness. French toast. Where's the egg? I guess it's on the inside. Doesn't smell like French toast. Hmm, whatever. Pretty good. So chicken fried steak. It's not only horrible for his digestion, but I'm sure it's loaded with cholesterol. Mm. What's that? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Something <laughs> I can't bite through. So I must have cut the edge of the chicken fried steak and gotten like a big chunk of gristly, I don't know. I'll have to try it again. I'm gonna try these potatoes. Mm. I think what saves the whole meal is the country gravy because it is so good. It's just like smooth and has nice big chunks of sausage in it and well seasoned and makes it yummy. So just order whatever you order, just get it smothered in country gravy here. Well, what did we think of the Black Bear Diner here in Madras? It was pretty good. You know, you don't have high expectations of places like this. You kind of like expect it to be like a Denny's or an IHOP. And I would say it was probably a little better than that. Um, the atmosphere here was really kind of fun and cool. Um, the service was fast and friendly. They also have a really cool gift shop here. There's so all kinds of things you can buy, like swag, like books, all kinds of cool stuff. It just makes it kind of a fun place to come stop at. The portions were huge, but I would say nothing on the plate was great. Everything was good some things were not so good anyway you just mix it up in the country gravy and it all tastes good so i have to say if you are on the road you're traveling you need a place to stop um and there's a blackberry diner you can give it a stop but keep in mind too it's not open 24 hours they do close usually around 9 or 10 ish i think depending on the location so make sure to look into it because you know you don't want to show up at closing time if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We're traveling all over the country. We're not stopping anywhere, but we're always moving. So, you know, if we might be coming to your neighborhood, we might be stopping in a place, maybe you've been on vacation, you tried it and it was good, let us know. We like good, we like weird, we like quirky. We'd also like to encourage you to reach out to your local food bank, food shelter, give a buck or two, maybe a can of food, some time, whatever you can. It helps a lot of people in your community and makes you feel good. So until next time guys, stay classy.